Hi, this is Leah with Backyard Homestead in Starkville, Mississippi, Zone 7B, and I am going to do a garden update today. It is Sunday, September 24th. It's about 5 o'clock in the afternoon, and I wanted to show what we've got growing. And let's see, this is our climbing green beans. They are starting to finally come in good now. We picked several days in a row, and they're hanging with green beans. And we picked two pounds yesterday, and um, Alan picked a pound, no, two pounds, three days before that, and then like 1.83 pounds, three days before that. So about every three days, we're getting close to two pounds. So really enjoying this nice fall crop of beans. You can see them under there, about ready to pick again. But they're doing well. The vines kind of sat there forever and didn't think they were going to make anything. Then they all of a sudden started making. So we're enjoying fall green beans. To show, we have tomatoes that are still coming in. Kind of not real often, but enough to keep us in a few fresh tomatoes. We have our jalapeno peppers are still making. Not as well as they were before, but they're still coming in. A few here and there. Our red Marconis are still making. So we've got fresh peppers still. <laughs> it's kind of an interesting tomato feature. The foliage keeps dying, but we're still making tomatoes. So we just keep peeling off the dead foliage and letting them go. Kind of had a trellis. We had to, this is the plant, and they grew up these poles, and then we had to put them across a trellis in the middle. Anyway, we still have fresh tomatoes coming in. Not a whole lot, but they're still delicious. And more peppers over here. They're kind of starting to go down, but so a few. These are jalapenos. More peppers here. This one's obviously not doing well, so we'll probably pull it tomorrow. This patch from here, from our peppers, all the way to the end where the lawn is over there, is this is our sweet potato patch and something is eating on them but they're still making making potatoes under there so we're just letting them go and we're gonna wait until the, pretty much the first danger of frost is on us before we dig them because figure the longer they grow the bigger they'll get more peppers kind of peppers and peppers and potatoes in this whole area and something i found a few army worms so i think army worms are eating the leaves but again it doesn't really seem to be hurting the production we try to find you some. See, I dug down in here. Here's this plant where you can see them. The vines have just gone nuts. We just mow them off as they cross over our border into the yard. But here's one where you can see the potatoes. So, making good, healthy, pretty potatoes under here. So, hopefully, we'll have a good sweet potato harvest. Just keep them covered up. Come back and put some more dirt on these. Asparagus we quit picking. We're letting the foliage go to feed the feed the roots over the summer. So we're not harvesting the asparagus anymore. But we are harvesting tomatoes and peppers. These dadgum stink bugs are all over them. All over them. Or whatever they are. All over the tomatoes. Alright, let me swing around this way. We have um, sugar snap peas planted on the back side of this row. So we've got a good little stand of them coming up. So we're kind of getting a mix of fall stuff planted in with our waning summer garden. This is our next planting of pink eye purple hull peas. And these are Mississippi pink eye purple hull. They're supposed to be more resistant to the nematodes. And this end still is kind of weak looking, but we're getting peas off of them. But the plants don't look healthy. So I think still have some of the same problem we had earlier. But as long as they're barren, we're okay. We'll treat them again after we pull these. But they're, they're making peas. And this end down here is beautiful. This end's still weak looking. But down here, these are really pretty. We have another row of climbing green beans. Like I said, we've been picking about two pounds every three days off of this row and off of this half row over here. So between this row 
and this row we're getting about two pounds every three days which is lovely there's nothing better than fresh green beans to me very few things better anyway all right we had another patch of pink eye purple hull peas on these two rows they had just gotten where they weren't making anything so we pulled them and Al's planted us a row of mustard greens. We planted the tender green mustards. They're not coming up yet. And a row of turnips. So really looking forward to some good fresh greens. It's been a while. This row, we still have tomatoes coming in. Plants are looking kind of poor, but look at all these dadgum bugs. I mean, all over them. They make us some soap water and come out here and spray them. These are more sugar snap peas on this side of this row. And on the other side, we have some bush green beans. They're kind of yellow. We need to put some chicken, chicken dirt on there. Maybe some quail dirt. And then tomatoes on this row above the sugar snap peas. I have high hopes for the sugar snaps. They've come up really well, so maybe we'll get a good stand of them. And down here, we have more pink eye purple hull peas. And they are hanging with peas. It's got a pretty little crop of these. So hopefully, we'll get a good picking of these soon. There's spider web. So pink eye purple hull peas on this one, two, three rows. We had to move our quail out on this side of the pond for they came and they there was a some problem with the city sewer line and they had to replace it. So everything's upside down right now. As soon as that big mound of dirt back there settles, we'll move the quail back where they belong. They don't seem to mind it here. Say hi, guys. And we had to cover the pond. We got the fall leaves coming down now, and it filled the pond up. So we had to put the tarp back on. The catfish are still doing real, doing well, eating real well every night. The impatience are still growing well in the filter. And a neighbor came and brought us these plants. I don't know what they are. If anybody knows, let us know that brought us these things and they're really pretty and it seems to be thriving in the filter this is going to be the bloom on it I'll try to show it again when it opens but it's a really cool plant he said it would grow in water or in soil so we stuck it back here and it seems to be doing well so we might have us a new pond filter plant but we are going to try growing some lettuce in here after these impatiens go down but there's some seem to still be doing well right now so we're going to let them go a little bit longer Here's our girls. Say hi, pretty. Hey. And I have a video chick who I did several videos about. Did turn out to be not chick, but Rick. Came out here one day and he was trying to crow. So we had to find a new home for him. But he's staying with my brother who also lives here in Starkville. So I get to go visit him every once in a while. These are the same Romas. I did a video a long time back and said that I know Romas are supposed to be a determinate breed of tomatoes, but these were still putting on fresh tomatoes, and we were just going to leave them and see if they would fruit all summer for us because they look like they wanted to, and they have. I mean, they're not making as heavy as they did earlier, but they are still putting on tomatoes, so we're getting lots of yummy, fresh little Romas to nibble on. They don't look like they've got much longer. The plant's starting to die, but you can see we're getting a pretty good number of them. So our Roma experiment, I would consider a success. We're getting plenty to eat. Not enough to put up anymore, but plenty to eat. And this is not a Roma, but it's still doing well. It has big old green tomatoes on it. You can see all this, but so we've got plenty of, plenty of tomatoes still coming in. And I just can't get over how healthy these rows of peas are. When two rows over, the, we have 
nematodes and we can barely get a row to grow and this this area is growing like a weed so pretty fun so we still have tomatoes pink eye purple hulls green beans and tomatoes and peppers coming in and pretty soon we'll harvest our sweet potatoes all right over here <laughs> we have our okra and this okra I don't even I don't know how tall it is I'm 5'8 well, five seven and three quarters and it is a good five maybe four feet taller than I am we have to bend the whole plant over to still pick the okra you can see some ripe up there so <laughs> it's it's huge and we're still getting okra so we have fresh okra to eat too and these are our butter beans these are willow leaf butter beans and these are our climbers and these have not gotten ripe yet. I haven't been able to pick any of the climbing, but you can see they're hanging with them. Let's see if I can get the sun shining through and see they've got beans in them, but they're still thin. They're just not ready to pick yet, but it shouldn't be long on these. And they're real healthy and pretty. Well pleased with these this year. And you can see these beans all in here. I should be able to pick some of these next weekend. We got a whole row of our climbing butter beans and down in front of it, we have bush butter beans and I've been picking these. I've gotten two pickings off of them. I picked two pounds yesterday and they were delicious. So still getting butter beans coming in. Butter beans all the way down. And you can see how much better the soil is at this end of the row than it is down at that end of the row. So we're working on building it though. We keep adding and you can see what we've adding hay and grass clippings and pretty soon it'll be the time of the year we'll have um, leaves we can chop to add so working really hard on building some good soil up here all right this row is butter beans and these next one two three four five six all six of these rows are bush green beans in various stages of development these aren't very old at all and see they're just coming well i mean they're more than just up but they're up and growing but they're not blooming yet when you cross over these rows about the same these rows however are hanging in blooms and hanging in tiny little green beans i think these should, probably should be ready for picking next weekend but good healthy looking rows so hopefully we'll have a good harvest of green beans off of these rows and down here I don't know if this will work or not but we have squash planted and this is the end of the garden that doesn't get much light so we thought maybe it would work planting squash down here because it'd be cooler but it's kind of kind of sitting here so we've got plants up and we'll see what happens of course we'll have to thin them they're too close together but we thought if we can keep plants up and growing and healthy when we dig the sweet potatoes over in the area i showed you a minute ago then we could transplant some of these squash over to that green that sweet potato area and that's the plan anyway here's our eggplant they're definitely going down but we ate well off this eggplant all summer long so i can't complain here's two of our tomatoes and again, they grew all the way up these T-posts and we had to extend the T-posts with the boards. And then that was it. And then they crawled across. We lashed um, PVC pipe across the, between the two posts and they went across it. And we've got lots and lots of pretty green tomatoes, big, nice green tomatoes on these plants. And hopefully we'll have some nice, pretty red tomatoes from them. If not, we'll have some nice, yummy fried green tomatoes from it. So either way is a winner. And this is our patch of zinnias. And they've been real pretty all summer. We've been gathering the zinnia seed. Definitely gonna plant these again. It's been fun. Here's our basil. Planted it up by the door. So I'm just walk in and grab some. And our little patch of mint. I hope this takes off next year. Let's see. Oh, in this raised bed, we have sweet potatoes and the vines had grown out of the bed all over where you see all this exposed dirt and we are about to we pulled all the sweet potato vines up and just clipped them off at the edge 
and he so got sweet potatoes ready in here too. Oh man, no, I didn't break it. Okay, we've got sweet potatoes in this bed. We're getting ready to probably go ahead and dig these because we want to use this area around here. We're gonna plant some lettuce, hopefully maybe get some of that started. And then in this bed, we want to go ahead and get some carrots started. So probably next weekend, we're gonna go ahead and dig these sweet potatoes. And this is a jalapeno pepper plant in this bed too. We're gonna go ahead and dig these sweet potatoes, plant carrots, and then plant a bunch of different kinds of lettuces around the outer edge of this bed. Let's see. Have more zinnias over here. And Alan has started all kinds of fall seeds in these flats. So he has, this is pak choy. That is spinach. This is more spinach. But we have something that comes up and eats the little tender plants at night. So we're gonna to have to come up with a better system. We think it's a little geckos, the little geckos we have around here. They come up and they like to nibble on the tender green foliage. So more zinnias, more squash over there under that dangling tomato. Hmm. And I think that's about it. But we've got fresh stuff coming in. We're still able to eat out of the garden and getting ready for gearing up for fall planting. Got it. Still kind of in between, in between crops, in between summer and fall. So have to kind of wait for some things to die down so we could plant others. But trying to get other things going in flats in the meantime. And I guess that's about it. Thanks for watching.